You know, there's a lot of wacky vending machines out there in the world. I mean, it's kind of amazing what people are able to put together. In China, there's this one vending machine where living crabs are put inside a cold container and people just buy them. In LA, there's a machine that can dispense caviar. In Europe, you can get a pizza vending machine. And I mean, why stop there? In Australia, there's vending machines that can dispense french fries. I'm kind of a basic guy. When I think of a vending machine, I think of candy and chips, and that's about it. So I was intrigued to see what other types of machines that I could find in my area. So I did a little bit of research, and I did find one. One sort of vending machine that's not really like any that I've been to before. So because it's a little bit of a drive, I decided to do something I've never really done on this channel before. Have a guest star. So without further ado, this is our our escapade into the city where we track down one of these machines. It was a great exercise in getting out of my comfort zone and filming out in public, and it was awesome to collaborate with somebody. This video really accomplished a lot of things that I've been wanting to do, and it was just kind of a fun thing. And so it begins. And so it begins. All right, so what are we doing again? We're looking for a cupcake vending machine. That it didn't know exist. It's not, like, it seems like a terrible idea, actually. To speak a little louder. <laughs> so the phone can pick you up. <laughs> you said the microphone's on the left side, so it would pick me up better. You should introduce yourself to my audience. Okay, so Natalie, tell me what's going on in your life right now. Like, who, who are you? If you could choose three words, Natalie, who would you be to describe yourself to our viewers? Uh... Spacey. <laughs> 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 Tired, gay, spacey. And uh, you're gonna be going to college in the fall. <laughs> Majoring Are in you that. interviewing me? Yes. Hi, hi, my name. No, you don't need to introduce yourself again. Oh, I gotta clarify this. Okay. So you're probably wondering, Natalie is the guest on today's video, so why is she driving? It's because we're gonna be going into the city today, and Natalie's just way more confident of a driver I am in a city environment. I kind of get nervous and scared, and then I start to make bad decisions. But Natalie's good, she's a good driver, been in way less accidents than I have been, so I trust her. So that's why she's driving. I got a bum knee. Well, we don't want to die. Yeah, we don't want to die. That's why she's driving. It's not because like I'm trying to be mean to her. Dad. He's very mean to me most days. Most days, but not today. Okay, do you want to do the three words again? I'm so nervous. No, I want to just, can I just, can I just introduce myself? All right. Okay. Hi. Hello. My social security number is... No, I am I am 20 years old. Um, 20 years I'm old. I'm 20 years old. I am in my second year of college. That is very exciting. So if you start to fall asleep, do you want me to just like slam on the brakes real quick? and no one's going. Is that your house, Natalie? <laughs> that is my house. That's where you're gonna be living. See, it's a space release, actually. That's where I'll be living Oh soon. my god. Ah, where this guy oh my god. Ah! This is fine. Everything's fine. Everything is Everything's fine. absolutely fine. Everything is okay. Is it working okay? Yes, I got it. Okay. okay. Tesla! 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 Got some Spielberg cinematography going right I need now. To stretch my knee, dude. It Actually. should be like literally across the street. Hopefully we don't fall into some kind of a manhole because there's a ton of construction going on right now. I don't wanna get hit by a car. This doesn't look shady at all. <laughs> no. Alright, what you want? Do you want black and white? I think it's on the middle. I the last one. I got the last one! Mission accomplished. So I got the vegan red velvet cupcake. I have no idea if it's good. I'm also not vegan, but that's horrible looking. <laughs> it's got a little cupcake. Hold, I might keep this box. This cupcake was five dollars and fifty cents. Here's that. Oh, yours is on the side. Oh man, that feels like a rock. Yeah. Oh, mine's kind of like that, too. That's like an extraterrestrial rock. One. Bottoms up. Two. That shit's dry as hell. 
I love it. Oh my god. There's like an inch of frosting on that. Oh yeah, no, same. I, I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> all that frosting. I can only assume that these have been in there for either all day or a couple of days. Mine's like really sugary, man. Like really sugary. So he's gonna lose his mind on the way home. I want to be like flying. I'm already like levitating. Transcending my meager human form. You're reaching nirvana. We just talk about the mysteries of the universe. <laughs> what does it all mean, Natalie? Um, We are all part of a higher consciousness, actually. We're extensions of a cosmic floor like ripples on a pond and when we die and the cycle starts again and it's not like we're dying because we don't become the universe because we already are the universe <laughs> did you just crack it too no okay oh my god this is about to become like an emergency no. situation no but that did hurt though the v is hard candy i hope you're okay it's fine all right so the v itself was red so i can't tell if there's blood or not I think it's okay. My current verdict on my cupcake is that after taking a couple of bites of it, I think it's almost overpoweringly sugary. It's kind of gross. Oh, well. <laughs> the, uh, I just had like basically all red velvet and it just doesn't taste like anything. Like that first bite was amazing because it was the first one, but now it's like, it's almost like you can only even take one bite of this. Out of five stars, yes. five being the best, uh -huh. one being the worst, what would you rate your cupcake? 2.75 stars. Ooh, that's not great. <laughs> I mean, I felt like three was too generous. I'm gonna give mine three and a half out of five. It tastes good, but it's almost like it tastes too good. I think <laughs> I'm gonna get like a sugar headache from this. You're gonna cry. Man. I'm gonna crash. This is the video. Uh, like and subscribe. Make sure to uh, leave a comment down below. What's your favorite? And we'll see you next time. And that's it. Thanks for being a part of my video, Natalie. And thanks to you for sticking around. Had a lot of fun. And I'd love to find other wacky vending machines that are out there. Who knows what I'll find. And maybe it'll be something that will absolutely blow my mind. All right. I'm still tasting the cupcake.